Joe, obviously with the announcement of Piper going to a much uh, much more aggressive profile with the M500 series and to include a five blade prop by Hartzell, that had to be a bit of work. What did it take to adapt that airframe uh, to the future? Well, you know, in this particular instance, we started from scratch. There's not a single feature of this propeller that's using an item or part of our bill of material from any other propeller. So it's all clean sheet, hub, blade, the whole nine yards. So we partnered with Piper to get the requirements. We've designed the lightest, smallest, most durable all carbon propeller system in our company history. All the part 35 testing, all the STC work is on scratch build equipment. So it's the largest gamut of certification challenge we could face on a very tight timetable. And the good news is we're on track to get that done by the end of this year. As I understand it, this prop's going to be 15 pounds lighter than what preceded? It's really, really light. We basically downsized the whole package. Mm -hmm. And because carbon fiber is so light, the structural requirements to retain that under spinning loads is lower than on metal. So we can take the whole package down. So the hub is lighter, the pitch change equipment's lighter, the blades are lighter, and the combination is excellent. What's this mean to the airframe? What did this bring in way of performance? Well, you know, it's not our first rodeo with five-bladed props. So I think what the pilot's going to experience is, first off, a different and more pleasant noise. It's going to sound more jet-like because the, the frequency change of the extra blade really brings the jet noise up and lowers the prop blade noise. It's going to be very, very smooth. One of the things that we've seen with five-bladed props too is you can push the power into that extra blade. So when you're standing on the brakes and you're going to load it up with power, it spools up quickly. It takes that energy and turns it into um, forward thrust right away. So I think they're going to like that. The prop is designed for takeoff and climb performance. We think cruise is going to be excellent, but we think they're going to feel that tractor pull. They're going to feel it in the seat of their pants. We want them to put the power in and let it roll, and the Piper guys, we think, are really going to like it. As I understand, similar treatment is expected for the M600? Well, you know, we serve at the pleasure of our customers. <laughs> but, you know, our long-term product strategy is to have the right product for every single turboprop and piston aircraft being built today. And clearly the M600 is one of our target airplanes, and we have innovation that we would like to deliver to that. So we're just going to stay tuned and, and let Piper give us guidance. Joe, thanks very much for joining us on Aero TV. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by. We've had our Cub for just about a year and uh, love it. I call myself the fleet manager. We have a Citation, a 58 Baron, and the Carbon Cub. They're all different, but I would absolutely say the Cub is the most fun to fly. I use it to commute to, to my office, yeah, every day. It's a great way to start the day. I can't wait to have the day in and be able to fly at home. It's just fantastic. It's really changed our lives in that Dave's commute used to be an hour on a really busy freeway, and now within 15 minutes he's home with a smile on his face, you know, <laughs> not after an hour of sitting in traffic. And we're really fortunate to be able to use it the way it was designed and built to be used. Our strip here at the ranch is just under 700 feet. It's not the smoothest in the world. It's uphill, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. It's in a canyon, so it's a challenge to get in and out, but the Cub does it without any issues at all. Everything about it is above what we'd ever uh, thought it could be.